Housing is a basic human right. Landlords are parasites on society. Landlords are somehow taking advantage of other people. Blah, 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 blah. I am so sick of this narrative like us landlords aren't out there working hard for what we own. Y'all think these properties just poof fall into our lap? You think being a property manager, being a landlord isn't work? That's weird because I work like 80 hours a week. It's pretty shocking. Let's talk about some of these liberal chode tuggers. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I, if you haven't guessed, am a landlord. Yeah. Oh, a landlord. Yeah, I must be some big piece of crap, right? I'm sure that's what most of the people, or half the people at least, that are watching this show and that are in this country feel like, right? It feels like we got about half the people in America think landlords are cool, half the people think they're not, right? Which is weird because half of America is in favor of socialism. Shocker, am I right? Anyway, let's go, Brandon. What's up, though? Seriously, let's talk about the business, right? You got this whole cancel rent movement, this or that. You got all this nonsense, right, going on and on about how landlording is wrong and blah, blah, blah. You got YouTubers out there, just all kinds of people just running their friggin' mouths, and they don't even have any accuracy in anything they speak on, right? Like, take this dude, uh, Thought Slime, right? I seen this Chode Tuggers video, and I was just like, this guy is freaking clueless, man. Hello, I'm Thought Slop. Today we're talking about landlords. Landlords are bad. Socialists have always been against rent-seeking. Now let me get three things out of the way right out of the jump, because I can hear you tippity-tap typing up all your little comments. Number one. First, first thing about how clueless this guy is. The guy's talking about socialism. Like, socialism has succeeded anywhere. Right? Like, what, what's going on? Uh, didn't every socialist economy pretty much collapse, right? Like, uh, what's the most recent one? Venezuela, Venezuela, right? Right. It's so weird that in today's day and age, uh, you know, in America, right, we got a southern border that the left is trying to keep open, right? So a bunch of people escaping socialism could come up through it. And then they want to turn this country socialist, right? Like, whoo, I don't know. And to be honest with you, I don't even have, like, a very firm, like, I'm not really, I'm, I, I'm like, kind of more in the middle on the border thing. I don't even really, like, you know, most people obviously know that I'm pretty right wing in the most of my, uh, my politics, uh, mostly related to the landlord-tenant policies, right, my fiscal politics, really. I don't really get into social politics uh, too often, like to make some jokes here and there, but as far as the border, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not one of those like, them illegals are ruining our country. I'm not one of those kind of people, okay? Uh, I'm not one of those kind of people that believes in the narrative that like everybody that comes in uh, must be a member of M13 or like a cartel member, right? I'm not not on that train. Right? I know some of you all are, and I don't, that's not the train I'm on, okay, folks? Uh, I'm also not on the, hey, everybody can escape uh, socialism where they live, come to America, not pay taxes. This is, I'm not on that train either. I'm kind of in the middle there. But I find it ironic that people like this guy are, are positioning socialism like it has had any level of success anywhere in the world. I don't think all landlords are bad people. Like I said about cops, it does not matter to me if an individual landlord is a good person who will go to heaven. The institution that they take part in by being a landlord is what I take issue with specifically. Shocker, the guy, the guy is against the police. I mean, come on. That's just the type of chode this dude is. I'm not making a judgment on anyone's entire moral character. I'm making a judgment on this particular action that they're taking. And it's not because I'm just bitter about some bad landlord experience I've had in the past. I mean, I've certainly had my fair share, like I'm sure all of you have. But my current landlord's kind of own like they charge me well below market price like a quarter of market price 
and they're friendly and helpful and all around pleasant and decent people who have real jobs in addition to renting to me. That doesn't change the fact that the institution of rent seeking is fundamentally immoral and just as exploitative as siphoning the surplus value of a worker's labor. Now all right. And that is really what I wanted to get to, right? Like, this dude goes on and on. He's got, like, is it 21 minutes, right? 21 minutes is his video of just freaking Marxist nonsense, right? But that that's that's the cusp of why I wanted to utilize this turd's video as our example, right? You hear what he said there? Blah, 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 blah. My landlord, in addition to collecting rent from me, has a real job thereby diminishing what landlords do, what property managers do. Property management, landlording is apparently not a real job. And and that is just very, I mean, not that everything else he said isn't blatantly incorrect, but that is just blatantly and wildly incorrect, right? Take a look at this footage right here, right? See this? What this is, what my company does, what Holton Wise does, folks, is we are a very large property manager, right? Very large investment company. Uh, a lot of what we do is rescuing mom and pop landlords or acquiring properties from mom and pop landlords who could or should or needed rescuing, right? What happens is you get a lot of people who end up with rental properties that they cannot deal with. They don't understand the actual amount of work that it takes to successfully manage a rental property, right? There's a lot of people out there like this thought slime chode target here who believe that there's no work involved with landlording and who vilify landlords and who believe that all landlords must be these, like, rich people. First of all, a very, very high percentage of landlords in the United States of America, like somewhere in like the 80% range are just small mom and pop people, everyday people, people who have investment properties and like this turd said, real jobs, right? And a lot of these people, they're not multimillionaires. They're just trying to earn an honest living and they get caught up uh, in these properties and they get stolen from, taken advantage of, uh, and their properties end up wildly out of control, and they either need to hire my company to come in and correct them, right? So if maybe they have a tenant, and the tenant's like, oh, I can't pay rent this month, but I'll get you next month. And they're like, oh, okay, no problem. And then eight months go by. They haven't got any payments. They don't know what to do. They bring in my company, and yeah, we're the assholes. We go in there, and he's like, hey, this is why I can't pay rent. We're like, whoa, bro, let's stop you there. We don't give a fuck why you can't pay rent. We're going to evict you now. Goodbye, right? And, and then we'll put it on Hold Mice TV, and everybody can watch your dumbass get evicted. That, that's what we do, right? I get it. That's pro we're very unlikable from like this segment of the population. I get that. Uh, but we are kind of the voice for the landlords who have been taken advantage of, right? So that's what, in a nutshell, my company does, right? We'll, we'll come in. These, these landlords that are distressed, they'll hire us, take over their property, whip it into shape, or they'll sell their property to us or our investors, right? So that's why we end up with a lot of properties like this, right? The footage you're looking at now, right? This property is just freaking wrecked, dude, right? Story here, landlord owns the property, just spirals out of control, right? It starts putting in some tenants. Uh, they're not, you know, that well screened, right? You got all, all the regulations coming across the USA, right? They're trying to outlaw this screening. They're trying to outlaw that screening, right? You can't discriminate against how the tenant earns their money. You can't discriminate against this. You can't discriminate against criminal history. Sure, Johnny got caught stealing cars and dealing drugs, and he's been in and out of jail for the last 25 years, but we can't withhold affordable housing. He needs to get a second chance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what all the socialists say, right? That's what pieces of shit like this fucking asshole say, right? But the weird thing is people like this motherfucker, I don't see them out there calling freaking three strike felon Johnny like hey Johnny I understand you have a huge criminal record why don't you fly on down to my house I'll let you live in my house for free no 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 liberals don't do that they just want to cry and whine when you 
you landlords, you evil landlords, don't give your house away for free, right? When you deny housing to these people, that's when it's a problem. This son of a bitch, he ain't going to put his money where his mouth is, right? So that's what happens. And then you get people putting people in their units that they shouldn't put into their units. And then guess what happens? What you see on the screen, right? It just spirals out of control. They stop paying rent. They start screwing the property up, right? And then they can't get them out. Eventually they do leave, but now the landlord, they can't afford to pay for anything. Sometimes these are in neighborhoods that are, you know, filled with some crime. Criminals come in. They start stripping out the house. And then you end up with this thing, right? This just... This mess of a property. Like, look in the basement, dude. Like, what are they even doing? Are they freaking digging for gold down here? When a house <laughs> goes vacant and, and the neighborhood just swarms it, right? When the ghetto comes in and takes over a house, I don't know what the hell they're doing. But when a house becomes like the local friggin' trap house, dude, wild stuff happens. You start to see weird shit. I remember one time we took over one property, dude. Kids, you not. This one room is like a bedroom in the house. This fucking whole bedroom had footprints all over the ceiling. It's just, dude, you see wild stuff, okay? Anyway, so that's how you get this house, right? So I guess here's my question. Seeing as landlording isn't a real job, right? This guy says it's not a real job. What do we do? How do we take this property then and put it back together, right? It's weird, right? So like... Who's going to fix this mess, right? Who's going to put this thing back together? Because, uh, you know, let me be real with y'all. It's weird. People like this turd and all the other socialists out there, you forget something. Y'all want all these things to be free, right? Free housing, free health care, free this, free that, free that, right? Landlords, horrible, horrible, horrible. They're taking advantage of people. It's not a real job. They're just sucking money because housing is a... a, a Housing is a right, an inalienable right. It should be free, right? Well, how do you get all that free stuff, right? There ain't nothing free, right? The government has to give it to you, right? But I don't know if you all know this or not, but the government does not have any other mechanism to earn revenue than taxation, right? Taxation is the only way the government could raise money, right? That's where all the money comes from. Government doesn't give stuff away, right? It takes a portion of of the population's money via taxes, and then it utilizes those taxes to provide these free things that y'all are speaking of, right? So this house that apparently it would not require real work to fix, right? It just magically gets fixed, right? Nobody out there is fixing this house other than landlords. So, like, who's going to come in and fix this house, right? If landlords just suck off of society, which is weird because I don't, I don't see the landlord freaking coming in and destroying this house. No, no, no. It wasn't the landlord who did it. But the house is now destroyed. That's where we're at, right? The house, if somebody just walks away from it, right, when it gets this bad, people just walk away from it, that means the taxes aren't being paid. Or when you have a neighborhood where all the houses look like this, guess what happens to the property values? They go down, folks. What happens when we have people who walk away from their houses and don't pay taxes or all the property values in the neighborhood go down? That means all the tax revenue goes down. So somebody explain to me what the grand plan here is because from where I'm looking, it's going to require a landlord to get in and do a real job, which would be renovating this dumpster fire of a fucking house and then putting an occupant in there. So thereby, what did we do? We created a job in the construction industry. We now have taxes being paid. We've now improved the neighborhood. So the property values are rising. More taxes are being paid. Uh, that landlord is now earning an income. They're paying income taxes. And all of this money, this taxable revenue, where does that go again? Oh, it goes to the government, who then does all of these uh, giveaways, right? All of these giveaway policies and things of that nature. So I am a little perplexed at exactly how the narrative of landlording isn't a real job, landlording is evil. How does it all work, right? It just seems like these people 
like Mr. Thought Slime there only want to cry and cry and cry about what everybody else should be doing. Never once is he willing to put up his own money. And you know what I did, folks? I actually created a charity, right? Look at this. I spent $100 to fight evictions. As I mentioned earlier, when my company comes in and you don't pay rent, we don't give a shit who you are. We don't give a shit what your story is. We don't care. We have a no uh, no questions asked policy. You, you pay rent, you live there, you don't, you get evicted. And then people cry and they whine and they whine, but never once are they willing to let someone live in their house for free. So why would my company and all the mom and pop investors that we represent, why should we be forced to let people live for free in our houses, right? It doesn't make any sense. But for all you out there that are on your soapbox crying and whining right now about how Marxism is the way and Mao was so... That's the other thing, right? You get all these memes. I see these memes, dude. People give me these memes on Twitter, right? Like Mao, that guy Mao, like he ran like some, I don't know, thing like 100 years ago where China, you know, communist China. Like back in the day, America, we used to be against communism. Now apparently half the country is in favor of it. They send me memes of like uh, guillotines because apparently uh, they would like find landowners, landlords, and they would literally cut their heads off. These are the people that they're idolizing now, right? People that cut landlords' heads off just because they own a property uh, in favor of communism, Marxism, right? These, This is how the left's thought process has gotten to these days. But the weird thing is, they're at the point where they think it's justifiable to cut a landlord's head off because landlords are sucking from society. But when you say, hey, man, why don't you help do something about it? Why don't you uh, let someone live for free in your house? No, no, I can't do that. I mean, I would help if I could, but I don't have the, I don't have the extra space. Well, guess what, folks? Here you do. Here it is, motherfuckers. All you got to do, buy a T-shirt, 100 bucks. I spent 100 bucks to fight evictions. You sons of bitches can go right here to my website, Buy the fucking shirts, right? I'm going to allocate all that money, and I'm going to take a portion of that, and I'm going to start paying people's rent. When people don't want to pay rent to themselves, right, for whatever reason, maybe they don't go to work, maybe they just want to do drugs, maybe they don't think they need to pay, maybe they do have a legitimate issue. I don't know. Whatever. All the people that ain't paying rent, buy some shirts. Let's keep them all in houses, right? Because you're not willing to let them live in your house for free. But, hey. Why don't you let them live in our houses? We'll make sure nobody gets evicted. Enough shirts are sold. We never have to evict another person again. Y'all never going to go to Holden Wise TV and see another live eviction video again. But you know what? None of you are going to do it. A bunch of you are going to go in those, cl uh, those comments below this video, and you're going to fucking whine and cry and bitch, and you're going to be like, this guy's a prick. This guy's an asshole. Landlords our parasites, housing is a right, blah, 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 blah. You're going to ignore the fact that taxation is required to provide these giveaways, these social safety nets that you're all so big into. You're going to ignore the fact that the work that landlords do, number one, is real. Number two, actually generates that tax revenue, which actually pays for all these social safety nets. And y'all crying and whining in your mom's basement, bitching and moaning, finding the latest really funny meme or gif about a guillotine and some crazy communist ruler a hundred years ago while you're fucking jerking off to you, porn. You ain't doing shit to help anybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.